Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm gonna show you how I curl my hair. I'm gonna be using the auto rotating titanium curling iron to achieve today's look. So if you guys wanna see how I curl my hair, then please keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. So my last video, I had talked about these um, Argan Magic blow dry hair clips. I did a whole video about discounted beauty products. I saved a lot of money on this and other items. Um, I'm actually gonna be using these hair clips for the first time, so that's pretty exciting. Yeah. So I'm going to like split my hair in the middle like this. Let's see if these clips hold up because I have really thick hair. So this should be actually very interesting. I'm actually gonna split it in three pieces. So the top, I'm going to split in half like this. All right, so my hair is split in two buns at the top and a big portion of my hair um, out on the bottom. I'm gonna make sure my hair isn't tangled like this. Back in the day, I used to make my curls rotate away from my face, and now I like to do some away from my face towards my face. It just adds more volume in my opinion, and I just personally like it better. So right now I have the curling iron at 400 degrees. Um, it has it goes up to 450. Oh my god, excuse my nails. They're like crazy, but you know, you know, I'm going to take like an inch and I push whatever's not done to the back of my head. You guys like how I put on a long sleeve shirt so you don't have to stare at my armpits. Yeah, that was intentional. I'm gonna go ahead and do the first curl away from my face and I'm gonna open the curl like this. So it's like wide and then I'm gonna leave the tip out that's like what two three inches an inch I don't know this much and then I do a little tap 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 action when I feel like it's getting hot then I go ahead and let it go so how much is that like 10 seconds okay my fingers getting hot so I'm gonna go ahead and catch the curl and let it go so for the next piece I am going to take a piece from anywhere really I'm also gonna open the curl like I did in the first piece. So I'm gonna go this way and I'm gonna leave the ends out. I'm basically going to do the same thing on this side. I don't know if you guys can relate, but it's harder for me to do my right side, which would be your left side of my hair than the left side. Like, I don't know, like, it's like weird. This is a weird angle for me. <sighs> it's getting a little hot. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Just a little bit though. The other thing is I have a lot, a lot, a lot of hair, so my arms do get really tired. Like, really tired. Okay, so the bottom half is done. Um, I know you, it doesn't really look like much, but this is what we got so far. I'm gonna let the heat like lock in there and just keep it moving. So I'm gonna push this hair to the back now. I'm actually gonna start with this left side right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another split. You can use a brush, but I just use my hand. I just kind of wing it. A comb, I mean, not a brush. For these curls that are like right in front of my face, I always like to make sure they're extra bouncy. So I'm gonna concentrate a lot on this section right here. So for this curl, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it away from my face. And I'm not, instead of opening it, I'm gonna go ahead and just let it bunch up and just put the iron in my hair. You can see how it's kind of bunching up this time. Well, I'm gonna alternate between tight curls and looser curls because the tighter curls kind of give me that like bouncy swirl if you will and then the looser one kind of just gives me like this like va va boom type of like flow so. so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open some of these curls up like this make them wide and release I have to be careful of like the faces that I make because I look like I like to make a lot of noises. Sound effects are my thing. Since the bottom curl was going away from my face, I'm gonna go ahead and make this curl to my face. Another thing I'd like to add is that sometimes I'll grab thicker pieces, like all the pieces aren't the exact same in size, I guess, like all the pieces that I grab. So sometimes I'll grab like a tinier piece and then sometimes I'll grab like a really thick piece 
Sometimes the thick pieces come out a little weird, so then I just split them in half and do them again. But, you know, I do like to have like a variation of pieces, if you will. So the last piece that I had was really thick, and this one's really thin, so that's just kind of how I like to do it. I really would stay away from, you know, putting hairspray prior to ironing, just because it causes more damage that way. Um, but I know that there are some heat protectant solutions out there that you can buy. I personally don't use heat protectant. I just, I don't know, something about the way it sounds and the way it crackles just kind of like, is this really working? Is this really protecting my hair? I don't know. I would just stay away from applying hairspray before applying heat directly to your hair. When I get to the top, I'm not gonna lie, my pieces just get thicker and thicker. Oh. What is that face? What is that face, Camilla? What's going on? So my left side is done. I'm gonna leave the curls just the way they are. Um, here, let me see if I can give you some close-up action. right here what is happening back there you know what trial and error I mean I think this happens at least once every single time I do my hair I'm just gonna take precautionary measures and redo that tiny little piece there because I have no idea what's going on back there I don't know like this side is so awkward for me and that's that should I turn around for you let's turn around Turn around. Mm -hmm. How's that looking back there, y'all? Did I miss a piece? I guess I'll find out when I watch, right? Now that my hair is all curled, I am going to take some pieces and open them a little bit. So like a little bit. Let me look at myself in the mirror really quickly. <laughs> okay, and this is the final result. This is what my hair looks like once I curl it. Um, I feel like these curls can be worn casually or you can wear them to go out, it's really up to you. But this is kind of like the curls that I go for now, especially with my hair length. I feel like leaving the ends um, uncurled gives the illusion that my hair is a little longer. So, I mean, that just might be me, but I don't damage my hair as bad. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any recommendations, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments section. I'm gonna be looking. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!